Hey, it's Kenneth Burdum here with Real Estate Photographer Pro. Just wanted to get with you on some staging tips and ideas. And if you are needing help on our website at realestatephotographerpro.com, on the very bottom, we have a list, and I will end on that note. But Real Estate Photographer Pro, there is a list on how to prepare a home for a real estate photo shoot. So be sure to check that out, and I will come back to that in just a few minutes. Let's talk about mini blinds. Blinds, these are not mini blinds. I guess these are plantation blinds, but they're slanted up. That's perfect. That's how we need them for your real estate photo shoot. You want to close them, shut them, and then turn them up. In this case, see how they're slanted up uh, in these plantation mini blinds. So that, that helps let the light in, helps reflect the light up and it helps take the glare away from the camera lens. And then lights, you want those to be off. And then you want to declutter as much as possible. So I'll just go through this real quick, kind of get an idea for how things are emptied out and decluttered. Countertops are empty. Rooms are clean and neat. See how the countertops are empty. Personal items are stored away and gone. Someone was living there. They're, they're, they weren't there when we did this photo shoot, but the bathroom counters are empty, so when we shoot it in the bathroom, there's not items there. Uh, photographers are, are, are not there to stage the home. Uh, that's not what they do. So when we come in, there's, there's, there's about 45 minutes set aside for a photo shoot, and then we're off to the next photo shoot, and then we're going to download and start processing those photos that night and try to get them back to the real estate agent the next day. So we're going from one photo to the next, one photo shoot to the next. See how the mini blinds are, blinds are turned up. These are not, these are plantation blinds, but they're slanted up to reflect this light. And then the um, lights are off in the room. So we get nice clean lighting. Everything looks good. Here's another, this is a good and bad example. I mean, they had to get ready and go to work that day. They left these items there. So if they're there, we're going to shoot them. But they're they're pushed to the back. Counter's clean. It's really not that big of a deal. But sometimes you walk in and this countertop will be, you know, full all the way across. And it's, sometimes you just you don't even want to take the picture. And sometimes we may uh, shoot that photo, but the realtor may not even use it. Or they do use it and then it ends up all over the Internet. So be sure to you know, keep these countertops to a minimum are completely empty. That Nothing wrong with that one, but uh, just just letting you know there's a living room, photos are off the wall, off the counters. So just when you see the room, uh, someone could see themselves living there. You know, colors complement each other. Kitchen countertops are empty. Let's go to another house. Uh, where is that one? Right, right here. This is one in Nashville. Uh, now I think this one might, I'm trying to remember if this was staged. If one room was staged. I don't know if the, it might've been professionally staged. But you just get the idea how, how things go together, things flow. There's not a, there's a couple of personal items, but there's nothing distracting you from looking at this house or scheduling, you know, a walk through to see it. Um, there's not anything that, you know, would draw your eye and go, oh, there's there's a Alabama blanket, there's a, a, a UT blanket. Um, you know, it's just, now this was an example of a room being staged. We shot it like this, and then we went back that afternoon and shot it like this. Um, and there's an example of countertops being clean there we probably should have taken that down but there's another room that's staged and ready to go and of course this house has no blinds lights are off so let's get our checklist i mentioned that so if you go to realestatephotographerpro.com this is the home page and then i've just gone all the way to the bottom how to prepare a home for a real estate photo shoot right there is a complete checklist of how to get your home ready for a photo shoot tips on the mini blinds and things you can do there things for the kitchen uh, there's even a list here at the bottom 
things to do outside around the pool if you have a pool. And here are the areas we're going to take photos of. So if you're wondering what we're going to take photos of, there's a list right there. We're going to start at the front, go all the way through the house and out to the backyard. And we're just shooting the main rooms. We're not shooting garages, usually not taking pictures of uh, closets, inside closets. So that gives you the idea. So if you need an extra storage area, you know, fill up the garage, fill up the shed in the back. Um, you know, we want to hide some of those personal items. And then here's a a video walkthrough of a home that was prepared. And it was quite full. This home was being lived in, had lots of things in it, but it was uh, it was ready for a photo shoot. And then there's some other hints and things that you might have questions about. All right, thank you very much for scheduling a photo shoot with Real Estate Photographer Pro.